Okay, here's an update on the linear rails. So it turns out that I'm going to need, if you look, there's effectively six nuts and bolts that will need to be used to get the corners. And I only have three left. So by using three on the linear rail, um, I think I used too many. So I'm going to take out the middle one, leaving the top and bottom. And that will be one, two, three. That'll be six total then that I have left over, and I'll be able to um, tighten them down inside. Okay, I got the uh, open beam to fit down into one of the corner slots. Um, I did use the file to uh, file out um, the sharp edges it had cut into the plastic. But what I did was take some 3-in-1 uh, oil, put a little bit around the bottom and just pressed it in and it slid in just fine. So that is what it will look like. And I'll get all three. I have to pull it back out and put the nuts on it um, and tighten it down. Um, and then probably do the same for the top. So new video will come up about that. Figured out the technique for getting these open beams to slide into the corners. As you can see, I've uh, got them in. Um, I've mentioned using oil before. As you can see, I put a little too much last time. It turns out what works best is to put a little bit of the 3-in-1 oil on a paper towel. And you can either wipe it around there or put it on the base of the open beam, which is what I did last time. It slid right in. So the uh, nuts that you use is nuts and bolts or nuts and screws that you use are just like what they showed in their video, which are the, let's see if that focuses, M4 nuts and M4 by 10 screws. And they show and I just put it on the outside. I thread them in, oh, till the screws are coming out through the bottom of the nut. And if you go too little, it'll uh, jam up on the open beam. So um, just be careful as you look in the bottom, as you uh, start to push it to make sure it's uh, screwed in far enough. All the uh, vertical supports are in the end stop wires go down through the center and then come out on the underneath underside and go through those holes and of course you need to put on little uh, white connectors the next phase is this long screw washer and this is an M4 hex nut. And these are going to go for the belt tighteners. So if you can see the hexagonal place where we're going to put this nut right there. And then we'll come through the backside with the uh, washer and screw. And it won't be super tight, but that's what we'll use to adjust the belt tension. This is on the uh, top triangle. And I did go ahead and put the M4 screws. This is M4 by 8 millimeter, And then the M4 square screws or nuts in there. So I can put it on the top of the open beam. I'm going to be assembling the print head. So the end effector right there, the bars is in the middle. The bars come up and they connect to the linear slide deck right here. And I'm gonna be connecting those with uh, M3 by 12 millimeter screws. These are the screws that are being used to 
um, tension the belt. And on the bottom side underneath here is a hex nut depression in the plastic. And sadly, um, I only had two hex nuts left over. So um, it looks like instead of getting um, all the hex nut nuts that I needed, they gave me some extra washers. So that was the first time I've run into items missing. I ran over to a local hardware store and I did find some uh, M4 by 0.7 pitch uh, nuts, hex nuts. So I'll use those. Um, but as you can see, it's uh, coming together. One critical piece is that I missed is this little control board um, plastic piece that I put in needs to match up with the auto level in, in stop. And it, the auto level in stop needs to be on that side. So I need to rotate uh, all these around one more time. So effectively the end stop will be on this side and the um, control board play will be down there. All right, one belt is on. So you see it goes around the stepper motor at the bottom, comes up and loops around each of those. Um, try to keep it even so you get the same amount on each side and keep a little tension on it and it goes up to the top. On this stage of it, uh, with the top triangle attached, you can see I have a little gap here. The screw that you'll use to tighten the belt is here with the hex nut behind it. And so what happens is don't tighten this up all the way on the outside, but put an even amount of tension in both the belts by turning this screw right here. Once you get them uh, an even amount, then go ahead and you can tighten this outside one down just a little bit. You know, don't do super tight. Um, the other thing you need to do is measure the distance here. So right now that's one setting and that setting is even. We're sitting at 20.42 and this one is a lot closer. So to adjust that, that set screw in the pulley down here, I'll have to loosen that up and, and slide that so I have the same distance at the top and bottom. And I'll do this on all three corners.